Oh yeah, so they talk about the climate of Arrakis and the central equatorial band has these permanent dust storms. Is that realistic? I guess so. We have permanent sort of trade winds on Earth. That's what, that's what I was going for. So we have trade winds from the circulation cells. So it's Coriolis effect plus thermal. Mm -hmm. Do you need to have do you need to have sunlight or is it just Coriolis effect? I think you need the sunlight to create Hot the heating spots cold spots. that that I that see. drives the. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. I think. Or is it just the rotation of the planet? Or would okay? So you didn't have heating. Would the atmosphere of the planet get caught by friction, and then the atmosphere and the planet would rotate at the same rate, eventually, without heating? I have no idea. I don't know. What an interesting okay. thought experiment. So, okay, okay. So my thought was, my thought was, if there's a large circulation cell, so so how air circulates both around the planet, but also up 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 and down, like away from in altitude, mm -hmm. then you can get like an easterly wind here. And if you got a westerly wind here, exactly like how this happens on Earth, yeah. like these create the, like the trade winds. Then you yeah. get this, if you get a easterly here and a westerly there, then you get this like spinning here. And so just like, just like the eye of Jupiter, like the mm -hmm. same thing. Right? Um, so maybe you can get storms in the middle. Uh, okay, I don't so know, I'm not seeing any swirlies, but yeah. maybe. So you're thinking like on Jupiter, you have the big red spot. Yep, exactly. Which is happening between these bands, and you get these rolly vertices in between. Exactly. And so you get some similar where you got this. It's actually plant. It's it's hemispherical cells of, right. of trade Which winds. would necessitate either a small planet or a slowly spinning one. Okay, and somehow all of the energy is driven into these these winds at the equator. Okay. Maybe. Planetary science doesn't have a lot of data out there about this kind of stuff. I wonder what's out there in just the, gal the Milky Way galaxy and what kind of interesting weather and climate we would see. Probably, I want to say, this is well within the realm of possibility. Maybe. Maybe, yeah, maybe. maybe. I'm super excited for that Starfleet future. Go yeah, find these totally. things. Nice, nice touch here that if the storms are confined to this band, then yeah, mm -hmm. you would get you would get to impact craters that don't decay. Well, that's point. That means the well, the winds are really calmed down on the south. Yep. Yep. Really, just this one band. Yeah. And really I guess in the north, smooth. they have sporadic wind storms for some reason, and so there's mm. fewer visible craters. Yeah. Plausible. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Okay. And the south has it's, lots of. It's craters. possible for planets to be asymmetry. To asymmetric. Yeah, I think very so. possible. Yeah, okay. 